I see you have what about four compost, five compost piles here. You have a shifter over there, uh, and it looks like it's pretty good, good pretty good texture over here. Yep. Tell us about the process. How do you go about making your compost? Yep. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna get technical with you because you said piles. These are actually windrows. 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 So, see so that that's people? an important distinction. In fact, when we first started out, we we used to call them piles, and we used to think like that, like okay, oh, just shove all the you know mix all the food scraps and the wood chips and the leaves and whatever in a big circular pile. What we found is actually that when you put it in a circular pile that's too big, okay. you create an anaerobic pocket in the middle. So windrows, that refers to that pyramid shape. Okay. And when you're following that pyramid shape and then you're following the right ratio of carbon and nitrogen, you're uh, basically creating the right conditions for oxygen to come naturally. So that's what is called aerobic conditions. Oh, so, you know, so when we see people that have tubings going through um, you, uh, the piles, but you, you're using uh, wind roll. So that means that you don't have to have air tubes to bring the air in? No, that would be an aerated static pile system. Okay. Um, 